Hello everybody, Raphael Perry back once again with another painting video. I know it's been a long time since I last did a Krumbal Varangur update, but hey, I've been working away slowly and surely when I'm able to. And finally, my first group of Shield Wolf's gorgeous Shield Maiden miniatures are finished. Now, I'll probably touch up the bases at some point in the movement tray to make the unit look a bit better, but hey. So my first little group of 12 done, which means I've got about 50 more to paint. <laughs> now, for these, I've used practically every component on the sprue, with the exception of the Huntress pieces. That would be the hooded cloaks and the crossbows, which I'm probably going to do a group of Huntresses at some point, but I was just focusing on warrior types for now. So, you know, lots of armour, Lots of shields, lots of very angry women. I just turn these around gently. Now, of course, I'm basing these up for use in Kings of War as part of a Varangur army. I'm quite pleased with how the shields came out. I went with a very simple approach, just doing them all as kind of stained, weathered, plain wood without too much paint on them. And we got a nice variety of weapons here. You know, we got swords, axes. Uh, yeah, big spiky ball and chain. Yeah, look, I call it a morning star. Some people will say it's a flail. It's not a flail. Okay, look. Now, the argument some people will say is that a morning star doesn't need to have a chain. This is entirely true. The term morning star refers to the head of the weapon being spherical and spiked. If it doesn't have spikes on, it's got, um, you know, then it's just a ball and chain. And if it's not got a chain it might as well just be a spiky mace because overall in terms of how a weapon is used you know having spikes or not having spikes while it might matter a little bit for the damage in terms of the usage and how you think of it being used the chain flailing around and freshing all over the place is much more distinctive and it's a good you know verbal shorthand and gets the point across it's just like people who say chain mail well technically you should say mail but anyway yeah. So, one group of very angry, nasty women ready to cause some serious damage. In fact, they've taken part in their first few battles already, and I'm quite pleased. I'm using them as a warband unit in a Varangur army in Kings of War. But, of course, if you want to try Shield Wolf's War is Coming rule set, then you could use these as Shield Maidens, and then you'd want some War Maidens who are the ones of two weapons and less armour, uh, some huntresses and all sorts of things like that to round out your force, and of course the great big gorgeous bear riders. Now that I've finished painting this little group, I'll probably uh, paint something else. Um, I'm thinking some Basilians for Kings of War. Yeah, very religious people. Or maybe some of those dwarfs I've been planning on painting for a little while. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you on the next one. I'll say cheerio for now and bye-bye.